everyone, my name is Anna. I'm a retired teacher, wife, mom, and a grandma. I love putting together lessons for my grandson, and I like to share the free printables with my subscribers. Today, I'm going to share with you some fun hands-on spring activities that are perfect for toddlers and preschoolers. Today's activities include letter and number recognition, beginning letter sound, number quantity, early literacy, vocabulary building, and dramatic play activities. The first activity is a literacy activity. I would have a lot of books for the week. This one is Flower Garden. I really like this book. It's about a little girl and her dad, and they're going to plant the garden. I like the pictures and I like the big print in the book. Really good. This one, God Made Seasons, so we would talk about spring. God made spring and he made the flowers. Super cute book. This is actually from Dollar Tree. Another book on the weather, so we would go over this. This one's also from Dollar Tree. This one is a book of colors. Super cute book. The Biggest Easter Basket and Llama Llama Easter Egg. This one is one of my favorite books. This is for teaching vocabulary and I really like this book. So throughout the week we're going to talk about the garden. So we would talk about the shovel and the watering can, the rake, flowers, the flower pot, and so on. This one is a really good book too. I like that we can slide to the side and we see flower, pretty flower, bee, bird, super cute book. Now this one, I really like it too, it's perfect for teaching vocabulary. This one is my first word book, super cute. For this activity, we are going to learn the names of some flowers. I went ahead and created this printable. I'll link it below. So we're going to learn sunflower, rose, tulip, and so on. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to match one of the little flowers to the flashcard. Today I'm using this flowers by Safari LTD. I really like these little flowers. They're very re realistic. So what we're going to do, we're going to match sunflower, hibiscus. This is a fun way to teach new vocabulary. Rose. For this next activity, we're going to plant a little garden. I'm using some Play-Doh. I'm using the little flowers and a little flashcard that I created. So we're going to look at the flashcard. We need two flowers. We need the sunflower and the daffodil. All right. Let's work on another one. Let's see. We need Bird of Paradise and we need the hibiscus. It's just a fun way to learn the names of the flowers. If we don't have the little flowers from Safari LTD, any flowers will do. I have these flowers. These are from Dollar Tree. So we can just play that we are going to plant a garden. 
This is also from the dollar store and I just put some styrofoam there. So we would just plant our garden, get some flowers, and we would just plant some little flowers. For this next activity, we are going to review the parts of the flower. This is a free printable from kidssoup.com. So we would just look at the printout. Here's the flower, the petals, the seeds, the leaf, the stem, and the roots. I have this flower. This is a flower from Dollar Tree. I went ahead and I put some yarn at the bottom so we can review the parts of the flower. We can say this is the flower, these are the seeds, the petals, the leaf, the stem, and the roots. If you have some Duplo Legos, you can also have your child plant the garden using the little flowers. And we're planting our garden. Just use whatever it is that we have at home. For this activity, we're going to plant some flowers and each little flower has a vowel. I'm using popsicle sticks. I created this printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. I left some uncolored, so if you want to color that with your child and then just put them on some popsicle sticks. And we are going to plant our garden, reviewing our vowels. So that is the letter A that says a, a, apple. This is the E that says a, a, elephant. The letter I for igloo. Super fun activity. If you want to, these flowers from the bottom, you can have your child color them and then you can put a sticker and then use whatever letter you're working on for that week. This next activity is a color sorting activity. I'm using this container that they gave me at the store. I went ahead and put some plastic eggs and I'm using pom-poms and we're just going to sort all the pom-poms by color. Depending on the age of your child, you can either use one of these or your child can use his little fingers. This is a great activity, fine motor development activity because they're using the little pincer grasp as they hold the pom-poms and they're also sorting by color. Super fun activity. This next activity is a logic activity. I'm using some plastic eggs and these cards that I created. We're going to look at the first one. I went ahead and put all the bottoms in one basket and all the top of the eggs in the other basket. My grandson is three, he just turned three, so to make it easier, I'm putting bottoms here and the tops here. So we're going to say purple at the bottom and yellow on top. So we're gonna get purple for the bottom and yellow on top. Then we're gonna put it together and then we're going to put this over here. And then we'll go to the next one green on the bottom and purple on top. Pink and green. Another thing that you can do is if you have some felt, you can cut out some eggs. In our area, we have a store, it's called the 99 cent store. And I was able to find these. These were 99 cents. It, it already comes with a felt eggs, it had 32 eggs, and a lot of other things to decorate the little eggs. So 
I went ahead and cut them and we're going to work on building this eggs. Bottom green and the top is purple. So we're going to say the bottom is green and the top is purple. Okay, what about the next one? Bottom is blue and the top is yellow. This next activity is a number quantity activity. I'm going to use this printable. I'm going to use some magnetic numbers and some of these little mini erasers and we're going to count and put our little manipulative, our little erasers right here on the 10 frame. So we're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Super cute activity. For this next activity, we're going to build this flower using this printable. This is a free printable from prekinders.com and some pattern blocks. I went ahead and I put a little Velcro dot so that we can put this here. You don't need it, but my grandson likes for it to be to not move around, so that's why I did that. So then we just use the rest of the pattern blocks and we build our flower. For this next activity, I'm using this printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. We are going to sort the pom-poms by color. Yellow, pink blue, purple, so on. Since we are talking about spring and the garden, we are going to review vocabulary using these flashcards. I'll go ahead and link them below. Seeds, flower pot, shovel, rake, and so on. For this activity, we're going to pick some carrots. This is um, made from a pipe cleaner. I just twisted it a little and then I put a little bit of yarn up here. So we are just going to pick some carrots. For this activity, we are going to feed the bunny just a container and I put a picture of this bunny and we're going to feed the bunny some carrots. This is a fine motor skills activity because as they're taking out the little carrots and they're putting them in here, they're using their pincer grasp. For this next activity, we are using this food preparation container. I am using some Play-Doh. This is the Play-Doh that we made for Christmas when we worked with our gingerbread family. I'm using some of the flowers and some of these cute gnomes. These are from Dollar Tree. You get three in the package for a dollar and some of the little flowers. So what our child is going to do is just have some fun planting a garden. You can use whatever you have at home. For this activity, we're going to be using this sensory bin. I have some rice and then I just put a few things in here so that we can just play with the rice. Children love to play with sensory bins. 
just use their imagination and play with whatever we put in there for them. For this sensory bin, I put some paper, some of this crinkle paper. I put some bunnies, some of the gnomes, carrots, some letters. So what my grandson is going to do is just have fun, just, just create a play. For this activity, we're just going to have fun using some Play-Doh, some cookie cutters, and our rolling pin. I hope you enjoyed the activities I had for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.